Hello once again everyone and welcome once again to Scottish Jokes. They were doing our biggest Blu-ray review ever. Look at that. Massive. Um, for those that are wondering, that's 20. Yeah. 20 Blu-rays. Now this isn't something I've just picked up today, watched them all, or anything like that. This has been building up for the last couple of weeks. So it's actually taken me about two weeks to watch all these. So, um, hell of it, let's just dig in, get started, and enjoy. Catch you in a second, guys. Mm. Okay, so the first movie of our Blu ray review Brave. Um, one of the best animated movies I've seen for a couple of years. Um, Billy Connolly's in it. Um, you've also got. A couple of other big name people I can't remember on top of my head again, Kevin McKids in here, I think he does a couple of voices. Um, absolutely hilarious, family friendly, looks absolutely amazing on Blu-ray. Special features, it has so many special features. I haven't actually watched them all. So uh, yeah, definitely worth getting. Okay, so let's move on. Blu-ray number two. You may take our lands. We take our lives, but you'll never take our freedom. I can't believe I just quoted that. We got Braveheart here. I don't even know why I picked this up on Blu-ray, in all honesty. This... How do I, how do I put this? Around the world, especially in America, this is considered a cinema cinematic masterpiece. One of the best movies that's ever came out. In Scotland, we don't talk about this movie. We hate it. But, when I watched this I thought, you know what, let's take all historical inaccuracies aside. Completely ignore that. And just concentrate on this as a movie. And it's alright. Um, on Blu-ray, it's quite clear, like all modern, not so much modern movies, but um, when you redo a movie for Blu-ray, it's kind of clear. Um, and the background detail really comes out, which is quite a lot about these Blu-rays, I've actually got this in common. Um, but yeah, background detail really comes out, you actually feel like you've just witnessed a massive battle, because you can see all the dead guys behind them. Pretty epic, you know, but it's, it's the brave heart. I'm glad that one missed. Let's move on to Blu-ray number three. Okay, today, or just now, we have Carrie. I think it, I can't, I can't pronounce it right. It's Carrie or Carrie. It's spelled Carrie. I think the Americans pronounce it Carrie. Um, I can't I feel miserable at this. Um, so Carrie, Carrie, whatever. A remake of the original. I haven't seen the original. I've seen a couple of reviews of it, and I don't think it'll really be a movie I would get into watching. But watch this because it has two of my favourite actresses. Um, you've got Chloe Grace Mortens, I think her name is, and you've also got Julianne Moore, who is in quite a lot of movies that I like. So I picked this up. It was, I think it was a tenner. Um, pretty damn good movie. The pretty damn good Blu-ray. Um, one of the main special features that it has is the alternative ending that was too shocking to show in cinemas. Yet to watch that. Um, because I thought, you know, I'll just pop in. Um, pretty damn good to look at. There's some awesome scenes that really come out in Blu-ray and the camera's kind of picking this up as a second face. It's a little bit annoying for me to watch. So I'm um, definitely worth getting on Blu-ray. Um, can't recommend it enough, and it's kind of cheapish now, so I don't know how much it would be in America, probably be about the same, but uh, yeah, definitely worth picking up. And that hits something. Okay, let's move on. Okay, last time we done District 9. Well, not last time, but. But now we're doing Bloom Camp's second sci fi masterpiece, or so called masterpiece, Elysium. Now, Elysium. Not as good as just name, but an okay movie on its own, and looks pretty damn, in fact, most of the CGI on this actually look pretty damn realistic, um, especially on Blu-ray. Um, special features are pretty basic what you'd expect from a Blu-ray, nothing 
which is exciting, but definitely worth watching. And I think we might be giving this away in an upcoming Blu-ray review. Because I think it's the only one we've got that is available for US as well. I think. I need to double check that, but definitely worth getting it, and you'll probably pick this up quite cheaply now, because it didn't sell that well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on to DB Blu-ray number 5, and that'll put us a quarter of the way through this. Dear God, this is going to be a long video. Sorry. So Blu-ray number 5, The Expendables 2. Third one's about to come out in the cinema, I thought I may as well pick this up, because it was the 5 for 30 offer that these were on. Um, this movie looks pretty standard to watch, but it has a little secret. Um, before this movie actually started, it actually came up a little thing, before even the opening credits, you know, it was like when you click play it comes up, a little thing telling you it had been sound rendered, and I thought, what the hell does that mean? Basically what they've done is they've taken the movie, which is basically the HD copy, and they've played around with the sounds. So a lot of those sounds that you couldn't really hear have almost been pushed in your face. So you actually hear absolutely everything. Every gunshot, every time it hits someone, every time a nail drops to quote the DVD. Not this DVD, but the old DVD advert screen. You can hear a pin drop. Shut up. Definitely worth getting for the sound editing. And watching guys blow up and me. Blu-ray quality is never a bad thing, you know? So, that's number five. <laughs> Let's fire through some more of these, shall we? Here come the fuzz. Hot fuzz, that is. So, we've got Hot Fuzz, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, awesome movie. When you see this in the cinema, it looks awesome. Go on DVD, it looked awesome. Go on Blu-ray, looks just as awesome. In all honesty, this is one they put on Blu-ray just for the sake of say, having it on Blu-ray. It's basically a HD DVD, but I'm not complaining. It still looks pretty awesome. It still looks pretty awesome in HD DVD. So, so far, compared to the other ones, that's kind of the least interesting one. Oh. Not all Blu-rays you get are amazing, but, you know. Okay, so Blu-ray number seven now. Okay, so Blu-ray number seven. How to Train Your Dragon. Second one's out in the cinema. Saw it, loved it. And uh didn't have this on DVD. I thought I'd pick it up on Blu-ray. It's pretty damn awesome on Blu-ray, it looks very, very clear. Very awesome. But then again, I just love this movie in general. Um this is the 3D copy, so you know that's a bonus, I suppose, if you have a 3D TV, which I don't. Um, special features on this are not actually listed on the back. I've literally just watched the movie of this. <laughs> because I had, I wanted to get, in get myself psyched up for watching the second one, so let's check this on. Um, everything's crystal clear on this. Definitely worth getting this on Blu-ray and obviously 3D. You know. What else can I say about that? So, let's move on and keep on rolling. Okay, we have Inglorious Bastards. Never even, well, I've heard of it. Never saw this in the cinema, never saw it on DVD. A couple of weeks ago, someone recommended it to me because it's awesome. I watched it and I was extremely disappointed. And I think I thought to myself, hmm, wait a minute. Watched that again and realised it's a good movie, just not an awesome movie. Um, very, very bloody in some scenes. There's a lot of good scenes that could have been in it that they kind of took it out. Where it's like, you're seeing Nazi hunters and for about 90% of the film they killed one Nazi. These are professional Nazi hunters. Yeah. But um, yeah, Quentin Tarantino's scenes in this are all basically the same formula. 90% of the scene bullet tension, 10% bloodshed. And that repeats itself about 4 or 5 times in this. <laughs> and um, but yeah. Good movie, definitely worth watching. Is it worth watching on Blu-ray? Yeah, there's some pretty gory scenes in this. They look pretty awesome on Blu-ray. Um, and it's the first time I've ever heard the line, uh, say goodbye to your German balls. I approve of that. So, let's move on to another film that starts with the letter I. And has Nazis in it. 
and it's not that great a movie. <laughs> that is not that good. Oh god, oh god, oh god, Iron Sky. Now, I had heard this movie mentioned and I'd seen a clip of the space scenes that were in this, where they're fighting, or not so much fighting, but moving through space, and I was like, holy crap, that looks pretty damn awesome for a small budget movie. And this was on Blu-ray for a fiver, and I thought, I'll pick it up. And it was, it was what I was expecting. Poor acting, poor directing, poor writing. But I thought, the scenes when they're moving through space and natural space scenes, they're like, oh my god, the looks so kill. Until they start to blow stuff up. It's like, you could have spent a little bit more on the explosions and it might have been a bit better. It's, it's, it's okay. No. There are some scenes in this that are so bad they're actually laughable, you know? And the characters are hard. <laughs> it's, it's actually pretty, pretty hilarious. It's worth watching. Not as bad as The Room, though. Those that have, haven't heard or seen The Room, stop this video. Go on to CinemaSins, click The Room, or Everything Wrong with The Room, and you'll have a blast. You know, you literally will have a blast. So, let's move on to our next Blu-ray. Yay! Okay, I think we're actually coming up to our halfway point. We are with number 10, King Kong. Want to get this on Blu-ray for so goddamn long. Couldn't find it at all. Finally found it. Bought it, watched it. And it was okay. Um, like with Braveheart, a lot of the background detail really comes out. Looks pretty awesome. Kong himself like the HDM, um, fighting with the dinosaurs, fighting with all that stuff looks pretty damn impressive. Can't actually recommend this movie enough. Definitely worth getting on Blu-ray, especially now because it's been out for a while. It'll, you can pick it up for a bargain, basically. I think I did. I picked it up for the 5 for 30 deal that I get majority of my Blu-rays. So, let's move on. La 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 looper. Now, like in Glorious Bastards, this movie was recommended to me a couple of weeks ago. Didn't really plan on watching it because Joseph Love Hewitt, Emily Blunt, Bruce Willis, not a massive fans of any of them. Not saying I dislike them, I kind of like all of them. I just don't like them. I won't do it go in my way, you see them in a movie. Anyway, pretty damn good. Looks freaking awesome on Blu ray. Special features are standard. Definitely worth getting on Blu ray. Definitely. Probably one of the best action movies I've seen in a couple of years. What more can I say about that, you know? Don't think I can. So, let's move on to what I would possibly say is the best action movie I've seen all year. Bet you are wondering what it's gonna be. Have you guessed that? Have you guessed that? It is Lone Survivor. Now, I was looking for the How to Train Your Dragon on Blu-ray. And it was on the 2 for 25 offer. And I was looking around and going, what else can I pick up? Saw this and I thought, may as well. Now, not a big war movie fan myself. I mean, you watch the occasional one. Saving Prior Ryan, I have. You even watched a few Japanese and Korean ones that were pretty good. Nothing special. Um, so I picked this up. I thought, there's an alright cast in there, apart from uh, Taylor Kitched, who does actually an alright job in this movie. Um, and I would actually probably say this is the greatest war movie I've seen in years. Actually scratch that. Ever. Um, based on true story, like everything it says here is awesome and true. Especially this one at the bottom here which I completely agree with. Brutal and realistic. Completely agree with that. 100%. And yeah, I think they got about uh, Something like 90% of the facts in this movie were actually correct. Other than two facts that he doesn't stab anyone. And the battle's over five days, not three. Which is in the film. Because in the film they only say the last three days. But apart from those two things, pretty damn awesome. And in Blu-ray, holy crap, you feel you're there sometimes. And the scenery looks absolutely amazing. Get this on Blu-ray or don't get it at all. And that one went all the way over. <laughs> and it's the wall. Okay, um, yeah. 
Yeah, so let's move on to a Blu-ray double. Now we got, yeah, let's have a little look at what they are. Okay, so our first kind of combination bit here, we have Predator and Predators. The only two that I would say were watching. Now, which one should we go for first? Let's go with this one. Predators. Looks good in Blu-ray. Not amazing, I'll admit. Special features are pretty nice. Um, because there's a comic prequel in this, which is pretty damn cool. Um, one problem I have with this movie is there's such long periods in the movie where nothing happens. This could have literally been a short movie that was half an hour long, you know? But, yeah. It was... Well, let's face it, it's not as good as this. Predator, Arnold Schwarzenegger's probably one of his best movies ever. This looks so clear on Blu-ray. You would think it came out yesterday, you know? And, you know, it's got special features out of the ass. I can't, even I was surprised by how clear this was. Like, I was just amazed, like, it's so clear. You know? Fair enough, a lot of the special effects are all dated, but, you know. So, I thought I love it. I love Predator. I love, um, love the Alien movies as well. I love, I even like the Alien vs. Predator movies, which I'm hoping to get in the next couple of weeks. And they'll be, hopefully, in the next Blu-ray review. We don't know. So, let's move on. Okay, after this one, we're three quarters of the way through it. We have... Riddick. Uh, this movie, never heard anything about it, apart from when it came out. And here's what I'll say. Picture the story of uh, Pitch Black, except the people he's with in Pitch Black give him all guns. This is roughly what you've got. Um, Dave Batista is in this. Uh, he's the guy that's going to be in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy, which is awesome. Um, Vin Diesel Pretty good in it. The special effects are mouth watering, especially on Blu-ray. Special features, meh. You know that's well. There's quite a few exclusives I just realised here. I don't know if that's two or four. I don't know. Um, pretty do damn good movie. There's one scene that anyone that's seen this will know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go and see it. It's, the clips probably on YouTube. It's pretty awesome. He takes a guy's head off with a machete without using his hands. It's pretty damn awesome. Just watch it, just so seen from the like machete headshot or something like that, you know. It's awesome. Definitely worth getting just to watch that scene. I I was laughing, I was crying, I was felt in pain because I what we just watched. Okay, there's only five more to go. Let's move on. Now, when I started this Blu-ray review last, um, basically this was the first one I got, it's Robocop. Saw this in the cinema, enjoyed it more than what I thought it would. Go on Blu-ray, enjoy it. But I've now realised this is just as good as the 1980s original. Not a huge ton better, but definitely enjoying, definitely worth watching. Has a couple of exclusives, looks damn good on Blu-ray. Just a, a good movie overall, I think, you know. Not an amazing movie, good movie. Okay, you know, let's go on to a treble watch before our last... Actually, you know what? No, let's not. Let's change that, shall we? Let's have our last Blu-ray, and then we'll go on to our last three. Uh-huh. Okay, so our last single is The Wolverine. Now... Um, John at the Flick Pick channel, which I quite re highly recommend, had actually recommended this Blu-ray or general movie simply because it's one of the best X-Men movies to come out since um, First Class, basically, and it's the prequel to or kind of building up to Days of Future Past, and that's what its end credit scenes about. I would actually agree with that, especially on Blu-ray. This movie is. Damn good to watch, very entertaining, I loved it to bits. And it's pretty just damn good. Um, couple of bits in it that don't make perfect sense, but yeah. Like how can something unbreakable be broken by something that's made of? 
don't don't quite get that, but you know, it's not awesome. So I've got three Blu-rays here. You just, if you've watched the science video, you just probably already know what I'm talking about. But let's see what they are. Okay, the three of them: Transformers One, Two, and Three. Let's just start with one, shall we? Now, first one came out in 2007. Saw it at the cinema, DVD, Blu-ray. Loved it. All the Transformers movies look awesome on Blu-ray. Special features are, well, nothing special, but they all look absolutely amazing on Blu-ray. Can't say much more than that. Especially this one. This one, I think everyone can probably argue this is the best out of all three, but, um, it's basically you just pick or choose. One of my close to my first favourite is actually this one though. Revenge of the Fallen. Second one, the special effects in this are mouth watering, special on Blu-ray. Sounds are awesome. And just that end fight scene where he's fighting uh, the Fallen. And he has those two giant black jetpacks on his back that he got from Jetfire. And he kinda of ducks down, they kinda of twist about, and they turn into cannons and he shoots them with them. That's probably one of my best special effects. Ever. So um, I just love this one for that scene. And the third one, uh, Dark of the Moon, probably the worst written one. The kind of second one was kind of badly written. This one was definitely poorly written. Um, yeah, I think Shia LaBeouf didn't put 100% effort into this because you know he knew it was going to be his last one. And let's face it, since this movie, what else has he been in? You know. So um, yeah. Pretty damn good. So, there we have it. That's all 20 blurries. Let's have a quick recap. Yeah. Okay, so, Jesus Christ, I, I just need to get this on screen once more. Come on, that's 20 freaking blurries, you know? And I just kind of picked them up, so. <laughs> just remember, no blurries were harmed in the making of this video. Just want to express that for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this blurry review. If you don't forget to show your support by giving us a thumb up. If you want to subscribe for more, mostly hit the subscription button that will be along the bottom here. And I'll catch you soon. Uh, currently working on a couple of videos. And uh, they'll be pretty good. And even though I'll probably do a blue review in about two weeks' time. That will definitely, I don't think I'll ever have one this big. I don't think I won't ever do one this big again because it's a lot of effort. Because you can't watch your movies just to be like, wait, come on, let's just watch them and see what they're like. You're not really absorbing them. So, I'm Scottish from Scottish Jokes. And I'll catch you guys later. And always remember, keep your hat on. Catch you later, guys.